Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the MAC Lunar New Year collection called the Lunar Illusions collection. I talked about this in my purchase or pass video, the most recent one that I did, and I showed the highlighter. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty in person. I can't wait to show you. And I said that I was going to pick this up because um, A, first I have to tell you, packaging, the colors, everything about it was just so beautiful across the board with the entire collection. So I wanted to have a piece of it, but then the highlight in of itself has this beautiful, oh my gosh, I just, I can't wait to show you. I asked you guys if you wanted me to pick up more than just the highlighter and do a video for you guys. You guys overwhelmingly said yes. So that is what we are going to be getting into today. I'm going to show you each of the products. I'm going to show you how I created this look, swatches, everything. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts at the end. You guys know the drill. First off, I, um, yeah, like I said, the packaging, even the box packaging is absolutely beautiful. I picked up one, two, three, four, five pieces. The first thing I'm going to show you is the Now and Zen 9 Pan Palette. This is the outside box. And then on the inside, it does look a little different than what it did online. And I have to admit, I didn't check the colors before I bought it. I was in the middle of filming when this came out. And so I didn't even look at anything. I just added it all to my bag. So I didn't realize that every single shade in here is a permanent or at least re-release because I'm not up to date <laughs> on the things that MAC has discontinued and what is still in their collection. But this is what the palette looks like. In the pictures, it looked a little bit more pastel. In person, it's definitely deeper. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the swatches. And again, these are all repeat shades. They're either currently in the line or they have been in the line before. I know when I worked at MAC, Every single one of these shades were in the line and I have every single one of these as a larger single. But anywho, let's get to the swatches. First we have Floof, a frosted off-white frost. Honey Lust, described as a bronze dipped peach and it's a luster. Tilt, violet with blue green pearl, a frost finish. Soft brown, we all have that one. <laughs> it's a soft golden peachy brown matte. Expensive Pink, it is a pink with duochrome, and it is a Velux Pearl formula. Omega, it is a matte, soft, muted beige taupe. Girly, rosy pink with subtle shimmer, that is a satin finish. Cranberry, a red plum with pink shimmer, that is a frost. And then lastly, Black Tide, described as a black with silver sparkle, and it is a velvet formula. It retails for $33 and it is limited edition, but I just want you guys to keep in mind that it's limited edition packaging and that goes for everything, but the colors and of themselves are not limited edition. Next up, we have the split pan blush palette called Dynastic Fantastic, and this is what it looks like. Again, packaging on all of these are so pretty. I love this. It's even raised. Oh, it's so pretty. The colors in here are Pinch of Peach and Modern Mandarin. On the inside, you are getting a nice mirror, and then here is a split pan, and it retails for $31. The product that I was and still am the most excited about is the Lunar Illusions Highlight, which happens to be in the shade Double Gleam. Somebody did message me and they let me know ahead of time because I was wondering when I was looking at the picture, like the sneak peek, what it was going to be. I knew it was going to be an extra dimension skin finish, but I was like, what color is it going to be? And it is Double Gleam. So this is the outside packaging right here. You can see through it. And then... Oh, look, oh my gosh. I'm gonna insert a little clip of me showing you this because I just, I can't, this is so beautiful. And I did not use this in the video because I didn't wanna touch it. I went in with my regular double gleam to do the highlighting portion of the video because I was like, I'm not touching this. This is far too pretty to touch. And this beauty retails for $37 and the price increase is definitely because of this embossing. It is so, so beautiful. I mean, in person, I just can't even tell you the amount of detail that is in this is just absolutely impeccable. I believe this sold out really quickly, but 
Mac does have a tendency to just completely randomly drop things again or restock. You can find them sometimes like on Macy's, Belk, uh, other sites that carry Mac. You will find it even sometimes a month later. So just keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in this. I, I'm, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. I ended up picking up two lip products and this was just because I wanted the packaging. I will use the gloss, but I'm not going to use the lipstick. I just, I want to keep the box. I want to keep the packaging and just leave it as is. The shade that I grabbed, I didn't even care about the color. I'm not going to lie to you. I was only looking at the packaging and the details of it and trying to see which one I wanted to have. And I picked up Ruby Woo. We all have Ruby Woo, but this is what the packaging looked like. I felt like it was really different. I love the green. I, this just goes with my shirt. <laughs> then you have the beautiful floral work on the inside. I love all the contrasting colors. It's just so pretty. I considered getting one more so that I would have one with the clouds on the inside, but I was like, calm yourself, Mel. You're not even going to be using the lipstick. Just, just calm yourself. But each lipstick retails for $20. And then the gloss that I got is in the shade magically delightful and again this is a color that you can get without the special packaging and this retails for $19. All right you guys let's go ahead and jump into the demo. Zoeva 227 in soft brown starting on the very outer corner I'm going to lay this down and then start buffing it upward into the crease and transition area. Another clean Zoeva 227 in the shade Tilt. I'm going to be applying this to the lid, but I'm going to start off in the crease first. Inner to outer corner, back and forth windshield wiper motions. And I'm softly going to buff this upward. Taking that same color on the side of my brush, and I'm going to pack it on the lid. MAC 242 in the shade Honey Lust. I am going to apply this right at my brow arch. Sonia G Mini Booster back in with Soft Brown. I'm going to work this all underneath the lower lash line. Refer number three, going back in with tilt. I am going to take this a little closer, right up against the lashes. This time I'm using it wet because I want it to be just a little bit more precise. BK Beauty 204, and now I'm going to take the shade Floof. I'm going to apply a little bit of this right on the inner corner, and then I'm going to go finish off with inner rim liner and mascara. After I finished off my eyes, Milk Boss Liner, top inner rim, I put a little bit of rimmel liner right at the top, mascara, you guys know the drill. I went ahead and I bronzed up my face, and then I went in with the blush duo right here. I used my Sonia G Designer Pro, and I just mixed the colors together. I wanted to have a peachy pink. I didn't want it to be too peach, and I didn't want it to be too pink, so I just took the brush and mixed them together, and then I stamped it on my cheeks and then blended it out and it's just it's beautiful I love these two colors I love them individually but I really like them mixed together I think they're really beautiful after that you guys know that I did not use <laughs> my special edition highlighter but I did go in with double gleam and I took my Linda Hallberg 306 and I just highlighted the tops of my cheekbones I put a little bit on my forehead nose chin you know I highlighted everywhere and then 
after that, I went over everything and I just buffed. To finish off the look, I already had on my kitten liner with my collaboration with Christian Audet. I had that all over. I filled my lips completely in with that. And then I just topped it off with the gloss in Magically Delightful. For my thoughts on everything, I'm gonna start off by saying packaging is beautiful. But I do wish, I really, really wish that they just would stop doing so many collections with re-promotes. This collection has colors that every MAC lover has in their collection already. So that is something I wish they would just try a little harder with that because when you have packaging like this and you have something so special, it kind of stinks to open it up and see something that you already have in your collection. I literally have every single thing from this collection with the exception of the gloss. And that's just because I don't typically buy MAC glosses anymore. But I just, if they had just been tried just a little bit more, even if they had put in some re-promotes, I would have been okay with that. But for the whole collection to be just a bunch of things that we already have, that to me is a little disappointing and I have to take 100% to fall on the eyeshadow palette. I thought based off of the picture that I saw that they were different, but that it was my fault. You know, it's in the description, it's written right there. All I had to do was read it, but I was in a rush. I do have to say though that um, the eyeshadow palette, the quality is really nice. I noticed that right away when I was applying soft brown that it blended out really, really well. Even tilt, I don't remember this blue being as nice as it is on my eyes today when I was working at MAC. So I feel like they did a really good job on the formula of the shades in the palette. Touching them, using them, they work very nicely. I was really impressed with that. So while I have these shades, I am happy to know that the palette in of itself is actually a good palette. So if you don't have these colors and you're interested in them, this is a good one to have. $33 though, I do like the packaging on this, but it's not as good as this. Like this right here, the blush duo, this packaging is the best when it comes to all of the face stuff. So the highlighter, the embossing on it is just <laughs> absolutely stunning. But packaging wise, this one is the best. So if you're just looking for just packaging, I would say go with the blush. If you can get your hands on this highlighter, oh, it, I just, I mean, I don't want to be an enabler, but I mean, look at it though. <laughs> but the good news though, is that if you're not really interested in the beautiful packaging or the beautiful embossing, you can get the highlighter all on its own. Lip products, again, this is just as packaging for me. I am not going to swatch this. I'm not going to do anything with it because I, I have a play on you guys. It's going to go into my little box of MAC collectibles. And if you guys saw a video where I talked about, um, I think it's the uh, consumerism tag. That sounds terrible right now. Um, <laughs> I talked about I do collect makeup and I have an idea for like a shadow box wall and of all like the things that are special to me and I have collected over the years and things that just bring back really good memories. That is where that lipstick is going to go. This gloss, I love the way this color looks over top of Kitten Liner. It's beautiful, but it's just, it's not my favorite gloss formula anymore. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I think I just found better glosses. So if there's one thing that I bought that I feel like me about, it is the gloss. It's, it's just the gloss. But overall, collection is beautiful. Just keep in mind that this is basically collector's items type of thing, unless you don't have these colors already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.